I did dance and soccer for years and I just loved like being active and just hanging out with my friends and just doing everything that everyone else would do. And then one day in August, and, uh, it was the second day of school, I was in PE class stretching and felt a pop in my back. After that, I went to the nurse and the nurse said that my spine wasn't, it was like bulging out and that it was crooked. Um, Jalen came home from school and said that her back hurt and would I rub it. She wasn't crying or upset. I mean, she just made a point of saying her back hurt. Um, I made the comment that it was the second day of school, they were in PE, she probably pulled a muscle. Didn't think anything more about it. Um, the next day, she had a little bit of pain, asked for a heating pad, so we put that on. Again, no tears or anything. I would always ask my mom to see if there's like anything wrong and to like rub it and after that she just took me to the doctor because I was in tears and I hardly ever cry about something like that. Her pediatrician said no, she has a fractured spine. But her pain kept increasing the next couple days and we couldn't figure out why. And what had happened was she, her spine had shifted and started to collapse. So her pain level was, you know, now at a, a nine, and we drove her right down to Riley Children's Hospital and checked her in. They told me that I needed to wear a back brace for six months at least, and then I would be evaluated for surgery every six months after that. But they never wanted to do it because I, was, I wasn't finished growing yet. The pain was just going through the roof. She started out, um, losing feeling around her waist and then it would go down her leg on her left side um, to the point where all the way to her toe she had no feeling and then it went all the way up to her shoulder they were giving her steroid injections um, spinal blocks epidurals to stop the pain um, she was on extensive medicines. It was just crazy. My left side was paralyzed because my spine was collapsing. I fell into a coma because of all the drugs and uh, they lost like my heartbeat sometimes. My parents lived in Chattanooga, Tennessee and attended Abba's house. Uh, Jalen and her brother had attended the Fresh Old New Wine a month prior to this happening. Um, my mom and dad got a tallit. We used the tallit with um, Jalen uh, during uh, her hospital stay um, as a result, direct result, of um, being under Pastor Ron's uh, teaching uh, here at Abba's house. September 30th was the day we were there and we actually prayed that crafted prayer over her, put her under the tallit, anointed her with oil. It just uh, brought uh, power into the room. And they called Pastor Chris and he prayed over the phone with me and after that I fell into another coma and that's whenever I had my dream. In my dream it was like I was laying in my hospital bed and everything just seemed like normal and my mom was asleep next to me and um, at that time I didn't feel anything and I looked at the door and the door opened and there was this really bright light that walked in and it was, it was Jesus and he came and grabbed my hand and walked out with me. She probably slept for eight hours without mm -hmm. The nur I mean, the nurses checked on her, but you know, they, they literally mm -hmm. uh, didn't have to wake her up during the night for pain medication. And when she got up the next morning, she was pain free. The nurses came, came in while we were there. We got there very early and they were weeping. They had never seen anything like this. It took some time, but she set goals and set a goal for Christmas day that she would walk. And she got out of her wheelchair and she did it and then she wanted to run cross country, and by June, she ran three miles in cross country. And she technically was still broken. I felt a peace, 
And then I felt like, why is this happening to me? And that, um, that I did something wrong to deserve this. And that's what I battled like a few months after that was, I did something to deserve this. The reason why th that God allowed this to happen is because he's getting ready to send me off somewhere and this is my story to share with other people. I want to uh, just minister to people that healing is real, that there is a, a God that's there to help us through all the troubles that we have and no matter like what we feel isn't what should happen, that it's for a good reason and that we're gonna come out of it. He's got something better on the other side.